The modern woman does not know how to be a wife. Let's talk about it. Glory to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Man, today I'm going to talk about some things that, you know, cause the modern woman to fail when it comes to marriage and comes to wifely duties. And oftentimes women don't think about this. And it's, it's very important that we get back to the basic instructions before leaving earth because, you know, there's a lot of wisdom in the book, but modern woman does not go to this book for answers. Instead, you know, she will make decisions out of emotions and her feelings, and it will ultimately lead to her own demise. So when we think about modern women not knowing how to be wives, we have to look at the statistics. We have to look at the evidence. You know, 70 to 90 percent of divorces are filed by women and 70 percent, you know, on the lower end of uneducated women with high school diplomas or less. And then on the higher end of the spectrum at 90 percent is women that hold a bachelor's degree or higher. You know, divorce is at 50 percent right now, meaning, you know, 50 percent of marriages end in divorce. And then we break those statistics down. You're going to realize that modern woman does not know how to be a wife or do they want the responsibilities. And oftentimes it's a very simple explanation why, you know, you have to look at if they were never taught, you know, or ever shown through a, a, a lengthy period of time from, from their mother and father who, who made it, then where is this knowledge going to come from? You know, if their mother wasn't living up to the expectations of a wife and you wasn't successful in having a husband, or, you know, if her mother wasn't heavily studied in the Bible to learn what she should be doing, then chances are you're going to get one of these modern women that don't know how to be a wife. And one thing I want to say is the modern woman does not know how to suffer in tribulation because marriage has its ups and its downs, man. It's like, like a waveform. And, you know, when those low points hit in the marriage, it's not because, you know, things are going bad, but you know, just in general, you got good days and bad days, but when those feelings and emotions take them over, you know, they will listen to that, that, that satanic demonic voice and say, you know what, I'm, I'm happy. I'm depressed. You know, I got anxiety, all this different stuff. And then they'll run to the courthouse at the sign of affliction, at the sign of tribulation, and then they'll go get a divorce. And ultimately this happens when the modern woman, you know, lacks understanding, doesn't have a teachable spirit. Um, she realizes she's struggling at being a wife. So what will she do? She will get back out. You know, she will go to the courthouse, file for a divorce, break apart a whole family. And then later on to get out here and be right back trying to find what she had. And you'll realize, man, that these modern women don't have what it takes, you know, and they have to be taught. So I always teach men, you have to be patient because chances are you might get one of these modern women who who pretty much knows how to be a chameleon, meaning they know how to keep it going for a little bit. But once that, once them being pretty and beautiful, you know, is no longer working for them and you're like, hey, it's time to do something. Chances are they don't know how to respond to that. They don't know what they're supposed to be doing. And I often tell men and women, you know, the Bible, the scriptures, the scrolls are a great starting point. If you're looking for wisdom as, you know, how to be a wife, how to be a husband. And oftentimes the modern woman, you know, once she has moved in her feelings and emotions and, you know, not been patient in tribulation, you know, then she runs to the church to try to, you know, hear something that is almost prosperity gospel. And we have a lot of women out here now that once had a man, once had a husband, but now they flood the church. And you have these men who have sold out for money that are tickling their ears with this message instead of the, instead of teaching them the reality of what's in scripture. But let's read Romans chapter 12, 12. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Chances are the modern woman doesn't do this. You know, these are three things that can get you through those, through those moments that seem like, man, this is not the, this is not the emotional rust. This is not the emotional climax that we once knew. And this is often once that honeymoon phase is over and it's time to doggone actually do what you're supposed to do and do it consistently when they hit those low points and don't know how to fill up that space. They, they're supposed to be rejoicing in hope, being patient in tribulation, being constant in prayer. But you'll find out that the modern woman, you know, doesn't know how to cook, 
doesn't know how to do things around the house, is unorganized, you know what I'm saying, is, has dirty habits herself, you'll realize that they jump around from job to job because when that affliction hits, they don't know how to stick it out. Why do you think the modern woman, you know, the, the, the first thing she will do when exiting a relationship is try to go get some more school, try to go get some more school. Well, let me, let me take a course and, you know, short time spans. You can get a doggone uh, a degree in less than four years. You can go get your master's in about three. That's why they, that's why they run and gravitate towards this stuff because it's short time spans. And to them, they can check these boxes off, but one box that you can't check off is, you know, a lifetime of being married and sticking through those roller coasters that come with marriage. Marriage is truly great when you follow biblical principles and you have what it takes. But if you can't doggone rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer, and when you get bored, you start nagging, hey, you ain't going to make it. You got to be able to find something to do. And the biblical God-fearing woman was very, you know, good at time management. You know, she was good at doing things around the house, forecasting what needed to be done for the up and coming season. But modern women don't know how to do that. When modern woman thinks of marriage, her mind doesn't go to roles and responsibility. It goes to a ring. It goes to a wedding dress. It goes to planning out a wedding. It goes towards the vanity of everything. But when it comes to the substance of what it actually takes to be married, they don't have it. They don't have it. And the only way that they will have it is they have a teachable spirit and you show them what is important. That's if they respect you. That's if they, you know, have a teachable spirit and trust in you to teach them and stick by them side and be patient with them. But if they don't have that, you know, this is why the statistics are what they are. 70 to 90 percent of divorces are filed by women. You know, the, the, the divorce rate is at an all time high. And when you think about that, you know, that means men are trying to stick through this and the women out of feelings and emotions go run and do something. And I would ask all of modern women who have been through that, did the most high y'all tell you to leave? Chances are he didn't. Chances are there's something in scripture that's going to make you stick through it and get through that moment. But you don't want to hear that. The modern woman does not know how to be a wife because they don't know how to take criticism. If you give constructive criticism, the first thing that they do is become the victim in the situation and it's like everybody against them. You know, if you tell the modern woman no and she has a bad response, you know, that's a sign that she's not wife material because, you know, when she hears that no, rejection turns her into a ticking time bomb. They start slamming doors. They start, you know, storming out, just wanting to go be in that Jezebel spirit. And this is just signs that the modern woman, chances are, doesn't have a template to go off of and is not going into scripture to find out how she should be living. Here's the thing. When modern women face that doggone tribulation where they should be constant in prayer, should be patient, should be rejoicing in hope, you know, their feelings and emotions overtake them. That's why they go cut all their hair off. That's why they do a makeup transformation or something or want to go on this girl trip. That's how they get through those moments. But if they don't, if they don't know how to get through it the way the most high Yah has outlined them to get through it, chances are brothers, hey, chances are they're not going to make it. And you're going to be out here searching for another wife, which you can find if you have discernment and you know what to look for. But even if you don't know what to look for, you're going to be in that same doggone boat. The most important scripture that I want modern women to hold on to is Romans chapter 12, 12. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. And also for my brothers out here, you know, you may have a certain type of love that you're trying to give. But if it's not that biblical love, if it's not that that love as described in scripture, you know, you're really not going to make it. You're really doing yourself an injustice. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Bow.